Today on Eagle Nation News, Prosper ISD continues to expand and grow. Parker Reynolds shares how the school district keeps up with the changes. Meet Ms. Subramanian, who values her students' education and mental health above everything else. Christina Krasnova explores the welcoming environment created by the algebra teacher. There's a new mayor in Prosper with a fighter pilot background. Zach Manning shares the mayor's journey from Air Force to town leader. Good morning, Eagle Nation, and thank you for joining us. Today's Thursday, September 1st. I'm Landry Long. And I'm Madeline Wentz. Breaking this morning, multiple Collin County schools were put into a secure status a little over an hour and a half ago out of an abundance of caution following reports of an individual in Salina making concerning statements and threats on social media. These statements didn't target a specific school, and this individual is now in police custody. In other serious news, five students from Hebron High School in Carrollton were involved in a car accident that took place yesterday afternoon. Three students were injured in the car accident, one of them critically, after the car flipped into a creek. All three students were immediately taken into Medical City Plano Hospital, and the Carrollton Police are currently in an investigation of the car crash. In brighter news, as the population of Prosper rises, so does the need for growth within Prosper ISD. Parker Reynolds has more on how the school district is accommodating the increase. In 1914, Prosper, Texas was a town with a population of just under 500. But with an average annual growth rate of 22%, the town of Prosper is one of the fastest growing cities in Texas. We saw a huge uptick in growth in this past year, so almost nearly 3,000 additional students came to Prosper ISD last year. Uh, we'll be on that trajectory of probably 2,500 to 3,000 kids for the next 10 years. Meaning Prosper ISD must find ways to counteract with these changes. And while it takes years to plan and construct a new school, it can take only a few months for a new neighborhood to populate with students ready to attend Prosper schools. One of the things about public education is if somebody walks in the door, we take them, we can't turn them away and say, you can't come to school here, we don't have space right now. But it is a daunting task, certainly, when you look at transportation, food service, custodial services, teachers, um, staff members, uh, just, gosh, traffic, trying to get cars in and out because our roads in Prosper are not really set up for heavy traffic. One way the district has began to accommodate this growth is through the Early Child Care Center. Our Early Childhood School is located on the McKinney side of our district. We've been working on design for the school and really designing it around the age of a four-year-old. We have a ton of four-year-olds, nearly 700 four-year-olds, so that building will probably open at capacity ready to go. Currently, Prosper ISD has 21 schools with construction underway for four more, including high school number three, Walnut Grove. It's looking like that we're probably going to be able to to start moving into the space, loading furniture in by January of 2024. Now, the school won't open until August of 2024, so you can see how far ahead we are. The only concern, I guess, that I really have over there are the roads. And so we've been working with the town of Prosper to make sure that First Street, that that construction starts so that we can get buses and then teen drivers, our staff, parents that are still driving their students to school so that that road will hold but I can't wait to open up Walnut Grove, home of the Wildcats. Reporting for Eagle Nation News, I'm Parker Reynolds. It is estimated that there will be a total of 30,000 new students in the district in the next 10 years. 30,000, that's crazy, Madeline. I've been in Prosper since elementary school and to see firsthand the rapid growth that PISD has taken has been crazy. Stay tuned, Alyssa Ventura has everything you need to know about what went down at the VMAs. Stop by Prosper Blooms for all your flower, mum, and floral needs. Located on West Broadway in downtown Prosper, the locally owned flower shop is home to arrangements for every occasion. Prosper Blooms also offers earrings, headbands, Prosper gear, and more. Come by and make your own arrangement at the Blooms Bar or order a designed arrangement. Prosper Blooms offers same-day design and hand delivery to cater to all your plant needs. 
Prosper Blooms, the one-stop shop for everything floral in Prosper. This has been a busy week for entertainment news from award shows to new releases. Alyssa Ventura is live in studio in this week's edition of Talent Talk. Thanks, Madeline. On Sunday, the 2022 MTV Video Music Awards were held in Newark, New Jersey at the Prudential Center. The night was jam-packed with performances from Best New Artist, Dove Cameron, Artist of the Year, Bad Bunny, as well as a glamorous performance from Jack Harlow and Fergie with Song of the Summer First Class, along with many other accomplished artists. Additionally, Taylor Swift announced during her acceptance for Video of the Year that she will be releasing her 10th studio album titled Midnights. The album is set to release at midnight on October 21st later this year, featuring 13 new songs that were, quote, written in the middle of a night, a journey through terrors and sweet dreams. In movie news, the highly rated 2021 film Spider-Man No Way Home is rescheduled to re-release in theaters tomorrow with the new title, Spider-Man No Way Home, the more fun stuff version. The film's plot will be unaltered, however, over 11 minutes of new scenes will be screened that were not in the original cut. PISD aims to create a culture where students and staff understand that they are valued and loved. Christina Krasnova highlights one PHS teacher that helps enhance these morals in her class. Throughout high school, students go through many levels and varieties of math classes, but teachers like Ms. Subramanian are determined to teach more than just the required curriculum. I always tell my students that it's my legal responsibility to teach you math, but I believe it's my moral responsibility to prepare you for life. Algebra 2 teacher Ms. Subramanian makes it her top priority to make sure that her students feel loved and valued. From encouraging posters to having set times every day to talk openly about mental health. One thing I started this year is at the beginning of class, I have my students fill out, fill out like a wellness check-in. Um, so it's just a Google form. Rate how you're doing on a scale from one to 10. Because what I think about is when you ask someone how they're doing, they just say good without thinking about it. So having to take it and do it into numbers, you do have to think about it a little bit more. When she was looking for a school to teach at, she made it a priority to find one that valued students and staff's mental health as much as she did. The most important thing to me is my students' well-being. There's so much pressure um, on students, um, and so I just want them to know that there's someone that cares about their well-being. Subramanian opened up about why she is so passionate about mental health and how it has shaped her as a person and a teacher. So I lost someone to suicide when I was in college, and I don't want anyone else to go through a loss like that, but more than that, I don't want anyone to go to sleep thinking, this world is better without me. Subramanian has used her story to help others who are going through similar experiences. She said, quote, My journey has shaped who I am as a person, and I know what teaching is and where I was meant to end up. I, I get to use his story now um, to, to ch change how I show up in the world. Reporting for Eagle Nation News, I'm Christina Krasnova. While Ms. Subramanian has only been teaching at PHS for a little over a year, she has already left a positive mark on Prosper as a whole. Coming up, Grace Escobel has everything you need to know about Prosper sports and game time. The Prosper competitive shooting team will be holding their annual meeting for current and prospective members and their families on Tuesday, September 6th at 7.15 p.m. in the LGI. If you are interested in continuing or becoming part of the club, be sure to attend. If you have any questions regarding the club, please see Mr. Atkinson or Mr. Kraft. Prosper Sports had a big weekend. Grace Esquivel is in studio with this week's Game Time. Thanks, Landry. Over the weekend, the volleyball team took part in the Volleypalooza tournament and came home as silver champions, going 6-3 and three and placing ninth overall. The volleyball team played again on Tuesday and had a big win over Colleyville Heritage 3-0. Volleyball wasn't the only Prosper sport that took place over the weekend. The cross-country team ran in the South Lake Invitational and all varsity teams finished in the top 10. The boys and girls open finished 8th while the girls elite secured 4th and the boys elite took home 3rd. Congratulations to senior Jack Johnson for setting a new school record with a time of 15-13-84. The team will race again Saturday at the North Lakes Park at 7. Switching over to water polo, the, the Eagles hosted the Prosper Classic Tournament. The boys team had a big win over Rockwell 18-6, but fell short to Keller 12-11. The girls team tied Rock, Rock Hill 9-9 and secured a win over John Paul 9-2. The Lady Eagles weren't able to walk away with a win over Keller, falling short 5-1 and losing in a close match to Rockwell 9-8. 
The Eagles will play again tomorrow at the Denton ISD Natatorium against the Wildcats at 6. In tennis news, yesterday the Eagles hosted Rock Hill and closed the night out with a dominant 15-4 victory. The Eagles will play again tomorrow at Plano East against the Panthers at 4. Also tomorrow, the football team will face off against Saxe at Homer B. Johnson Stadium at 7. Growing up, Mayor David Bristol dreamed of flying through the clouds. Now he can say he's done that and become the mayor of a booming Texas town. Zach Manning explores his journey from Air Force fighter pilot to becoming mayor of the town of Prosper. David Bristol, a former active duty fighter pilot, graduated from the U.S. Air Force Academy in 1987. His family relocated to Europe while he was deployed to numerous operations throughout the world. I flew for the United States Air Force throughout Europe, the Middle East, and uh, here in the United States. And then I trained other young uh, adults to go fly and become fighter pilots. Every NATO country sends their fighter pilots to Wichita Falls to get trained. After serving in the Air Force for more than 20 years, Mayor Bristol hit retirement age and was honorably discharged in 2007. Soon after, Bristol became dedicated to Prosper. I've been very actively involved in the community. I was a town council person from 2004 to 2008, and I wasn't going to sit by and when, when Mayor Smith was term limited and not step into the gap there. I felt very called to that because of the training I had at the Air Force Academy. The town secretary, Michelle Siriani, sees behind the scenes in how Mayor Bristol is serving in the town of Prosper. Mayor Bristol was elected in May, and I'm and it's happy to have him on board. So it's been great working with him thus far. So I look forward to another three years at least. Mayor Bristol added that while he's achieved his childhood dreams, it wouldn't mean anything if it wasn't for his family. My three kids and one granddaughter. By far the greatest achievements in my life. I picked a really good wife and mother, and so I take that as my number one priority in, in my life. Because we can do all these things and be recognized for achievements, and if you don't have your family, it uh, changes everything. Currently, Mayor Bristol is hoping to improve roads to make students more safe and is starting to work more directly with PISD on any issues. For Eagle Nation News, I'm Zach Manning. An article extending the mayor's story will be up on EagleNationOnline.com next week. I really hope to see some positive changes in our community as a result of Mayor Bristol taking office. I totally agree, Madeline. That's all we have for you today, Eagle Nation. Once again, I'm Landry Long. And I'm Madeline Wentz. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you after the long weekend. Just a reminder, there is no school tomorrow or Monday. Have a great day, and go Eagles!